So what I'm making today is an Indian style pea, green pea soup. So we use dried uh, green peas and soak them and then boil them. So we've got oil in the pan and then we put cumin in there. Next we have asafoetida. This dish um, is another Indian street food dish, traditionally eaten. So what that's eaten with the peas is you either have like fresh bread rolls or potato cutlets. So we don't have it with fresh bread rolls. So we've got our... So we've got curry leaves in there and uh, red chilli, dry chilli. We're just going to soften those onions and then we're going to add a green chilli and garlic and ginger, and ginger paste. So, ginger, garlic and green chilli. Fresh chilli, ginger and garlic. So turmeric next, red chilli powder, so two teaspoons there, and then coriander cumin powder, one, about two and a half little tiny spoons, so our spoons are very this, small, so it's a little more. Finally, a small amount, so that about less, just less than half a teaspoon of garam masala. So we make our own garam masala at home. So four tablespoons of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes in there. So we've used um, tin tomatoes. We've got it on a medium heat and then we're going to add what we've got here. We're going to add about a ta half a tablespoon. Now this is chickpea flour, roasted chickpea flour. So we, it's basically just um, chickpea flour that we've roasted in a frying pan, dry roasted. And we keep a uh, little container in the fridge. So it's gonna help thicken our sauce. <laughs> so you can see how the colour's changing with the chickpea in there now. Few minutes to cook through, and now we're going to add our boiled peas. So these are these were dry green peas which we soaked and boiled. You can see that texture, and that goes in. So 
And when we boil our beef, what we do, we add a potato in there. But we're going to add that in there as well soon. Some mashed boiled potatoes, so just one small potato goes in there too. And now we're going to add some water, so probably about half a cup of water there. Half a cup of water, and then we're just going to let it simmer. So these are our bread rolls and we're just going to put them in the oven now. So our soup is done, so you can see that consistency we want. So we let it simmer for about 7 to 10 minutes yeah. on a very medium, medium, low to medium heat, all finished. Special in the winter, very nice, yummy with the hot bread. Yep, with hot bread. And there we have it. So. Indian spicy pea soup with fresh bread roll.